I felt so, so bad and I'm about to be unemployed. Hey guys, Team Stacy here and if you're new to my channel, hello and if you are a returning subscriber, what's up? So if you like this look, I have a, a video on this look so definitely click the link in the bio if you want a video on this look. But I wanted to give you guys a story time because I know you guys love story times and I love giving story times but it's just the fact that I don't live my life so I don't have story times. But um... I just wanted to tell you guys about the time that I literally almost lost my job. So, if you don't know, I'm just going to let you know now. I am a server. I work at a like a, a little cool like chill joint. Um I've been serving for almost a year now, which is super crazy. Um yeah, so I'm like the average waiter, you know, take your drinks, take your order, bring your food, is everything okay? Type person, like that's me. So during this time, this was probably I was new but not new new. Like it was like my first week, but like I'm still I was still learning the ropes of the serving world because it's crazy. It's literally crazy. So um this was probably like two months of me being a server and um I was now like out there doing my own thing like I wasn't training with anybody and at that point I wasn't really asking for help when I first first started working there maybe a month in working there um there was this this couple they came in and I they sat in my section I had to take them um so let's just be honest the couple was um they had health issues one lady she had like a breathing tube and the husband was in a wheelchair but i don't discriminate your regular human to me i served them regular day like i they're a cute couple obviously they were together they were a cute couple everything was fine i literally just took their order and they ate their food and they paid and they left perfect so now we're gonna fast forward to like a few months later i get the same couple but this time they bring a kid with them so maybe the kid was maybe like six seven years old so we bring the kid well they bring their kid or whatever i didn't know if that was their kid but they bring a kid with them and they're ordering food and they order drinks so they order um i remember the drinks because um they ordered a, a kid's lemonade a regular size lemonade and a water so I get my tray you know how service have to walk like this so get my tray and I have my three drinks at this point earlier before then um, I was really stressed as a server now I can have a party and three tables and I'm just, like I know how to manage you know my stress levels now that I'm a server back then I really did not know how to manage so with that table i also had like two three other tables as well so i was kind of stressed so when i had to get the drinks let's just say my fix plus my primer and my foundation were the drinks here's the lemonade the the adult lemonade i hope you guys can see this and <laughs> we're gonna have the other lemonade the kids lemonade and we're gonna put the water this is literally how i aligned it let me show you guys something this <laughs> look at that that as a server is completely wrong when you're serving you want hope you guys can see this you want it to be kind of a triangle formation you want it because it, it kind of balances everything out i decided to put a bit like this in a straight line look at that one sliding already in a straight line you don't do that because there's nothing there's no pressure in the front and there's no pressure in the back all of it's across your hand so the second you move a drink these are gonna go tumbling that way when I went to drop off the drinks I got the first drink off but of course because and I, I didn't even get the, I didn't even get the kids drink off I literally got uh adult drink so now it's definitely unproportioned because it's a kid's drink and then an adult drink maybe if it was two adult drinks maybe it would have been fine but it was a kid's drink still on the tray and an adult drink and lord and behold i lost my my little my little balance and the drink literally 
submerge the little boy. The lemonade, it wasn't even the water, it was a sticky lemonade. I'm so embarrassed. So the lemonade falls on top of the little boy's head. I mean the head. The cup hits him in his head and everything. I felt so, so bad. I was like, oh my God. When that fell, they were like, oh my God, are you okay? They're wiping the little boy off. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? And I'm like getting napkins and like my, my um, coworkers are like getting towels because like I made a big mess. It's two drinks that fell. One, the big cup fell on the little kid's head, but the other one still hit the ground. So it's like all this juice on the floor and I'm just like oh my god I'm so sorry I'm so sorry like I'm so sorry and like they're, cl they're cleaning up the thing um so, where I work there is a store right next to us so I run to the store and I'm like can I please get this kid a shirt like he's probably so cold and it was cold that in within that week so I felt so freaking bad go to the place I literally get to the back with one of the guys and I start crying and I'm like oh my god I cannot believe I just did that like I just built a drink all over him I was so worked up I was so I felt so freaking bad I go back to the table with the shirt and I'm like here's a shirt I don't want him to be cold I'm so sorry she's like it's okay the lady she was like it's okay it's okay don't worry about it and and then I'm just like and I was like, no, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It was a mistake. I understand. It's okay. Uh, and I'm telling the guy, like, I'm sorry. I literally told him I'm sorry like a hundred times because, like, I felt so freaking bad. I was in the back and I was crying. And one of the cooks, they were like, why are you crying? And I'm like, because I just spilled a drink. And he was like, you work at a restaurant. Things like that happen. Like, don't cry about it. And I was, I just d couldn't hear it. Like, I, was, I felt so bad. So their food comes out. I get them new drinks. Their food comes out. And they order a lot of food. And they just, they're eating and whatever and whatever, whatever. So... Some lady comes, and she was younger, so I'm assuming this is their daughter as well. I didn't know who these people were. So she comes in. She looks really upset. So, but she's sitting, and, like, she's eating off of their food and whatever, and that's that. So they order all this food, and after that's done, the bill comes. The bill was kind of pricey because they ordered a lot of food, and I begged my manager already to take the drinks off like you know no pun intended but i dropped the drink on you i don't want you to pay for it like if anything i would tell my manager i will pay for the drinks like i just don't want him to pay for it and i and i also told him i wanted to buy the kid an ice cream like because we have ice cream at my job so i'm like can i buy him an ice cream like i was going a mile and beyond because i felt so bad for this table but i my manager ended up talking to them before I can talk to them but he basically told them you know she was so sorry about spilling the drink um she would buy him a milkshake you know in return to you know to say she's sorry and once that check hit that table and my manager said that to them all hell broke loose they decided to flip the script and they're like why do we have to pay for this she spilled the drink and if she spilled the drink then she should pay for it and she should pay for the whole bill and we don't want a milkshake we can't even drink milkshakes due to our health issues and i'm like when i hear this after i was done crying and willing to pay for a milkshake i'm like oh hell no like are you serious i literally told these people I was sorry over a hundred times and the whole time they were saying it's okay we understand accidents happen it's okay it's okay it's okay now the check hits the table and a free item is involved and now things just want to be blown up through proportion out of proportion I wasn't even asking to buy the whole table a milkshake I'm talking about the little boy because I wanted him to you know at least be happy when he left or something like that like you know and they're like, oh, we can't drink milkshakes. Look at us. We Like, I didn't offer to buy a milkshake anyways. So I go there with another coworker. And she, because she's been there way longer than I have. So she knows how to, like, talk through situations like that. This is my second month at this job. I've never had people yell at me like this. I don't know what to say. The girl that came in, she's like, I'm a server. And if anybody does that at my job, you have to pay for the whole meal. Why would my parents have to pay for the meal? Do you see them? Do you see how hard it is for them to get out the house every day? You ruin their experience. They have a terrible experience here. We will never come back. And I'm just like, oh my God. And then I just realized, 
Like, I'm over here crying for a table, and they're over here being opportunists. Like, if you go to a restaurant and a drink falls on you, the server is at fault, but you walked into that restaurant taking liability. Like, stuff like that can happen. A server is carrying food, and it falls. It can happen, you know? It's not like there was water on the floor and you slipped. Now that's a problem. But if a server is carrying something and it falls, that stuff like that just happens, you know? So my manager is talking to me, and the bill was big, like I told you guys. So my manager is talking to me, and he's like this is a big bill and they're saying they're not gonna pay for it and my manager's trying to work with them and he's like okay we already comped the drinks off if you want we can do a 50 percent off but that's the most they can do because this is a big bill they can't just give out free food because you know an accident happened so they're like we're not paying for it we refuse to pay for it why would we pay for food mind you the drinks were dropped before the food came you ordered all the food in the world you ate all the food in the world and now it's a problem now the experience is ruined and all when before you were telling me everything was open now everything's ruined you know what i'm saying so my manager's talking to me and he's like they're not gonna pay for it and this either has to come out your pocket or we don't know like it just it just can't be free food like it just can't and i'm just like i i just started working here like i don't have money to just pay for this big tab because people want to like be opportunists so they ended up not paying because and they were regulars like they came pretty often i've served them before so like for that to happen it was it was like oh my god like whoa so my manager's talking to me and he's like, listen, I know it was a mistake, but mistakes like that can cost you your job. And these people are complaining and they said they're going to call corporate and blase, blase. And I'm just like, oh my God. And the way he was talking to me, I swear to you, I thought I was going to get fired. He's just like, this can't happen. And, you know, I understand you're new, but these mistakes and I'm just like, I just dropped a drink and I'm about to be unemployed this is crazy this is crazy so long story short those people ended up not paying and I after I was so heated that they did that I went to the the place next door like the store next door and I was talking to the guy that gave me the shirt for the little boy and they were asking me what happened because I was crying these people were nothing but opportunists I made a mistake and they just fed off of it and they ended up not paying for it and now I have to pay for it and then when I'm done I'm done snapping telling the guys what happened and I turn around and the lady in the wheelchair was sitting right behind me and I was like Oh my god, I am going to get fired. <laughs> I literally like was snapping to one thou. I'm like, they're nothing but opportunists. This lady sitting right behind me in her little buggy, and I'm like, oh my goodness, she is about to call my manager and cuss me out. But yeah, so after all that happened, my man my manager ended up not firing me. He just told me he, after everything dived down and the situation wasn't so hot, he was just like, he understands. And honestly, he told me like, at that moment, he wanted to let me go because it was too much going on. It was so much chaos. He was just like, really? But, you know, I still work at my place and I've never actually, I those, those people do not come back to my job anymore. I have never seen them come back and I feel bad because it was just an accident. I didn't want them to never show up again, like, you know, but, um, one time I went out with my other co-worker and we went out to eat and I saw them going into TGI Fridays. So I was just like, wow, this is their new place now after I ruined their experience. So yeah, guys, that's my story time. And it's on, it was, oh my God, I, bro, I was so sad that whole time. That was such a bad day for me. Like just starting to work. It was so bad. It was, it was such a bad day, but I'm back and I'm better. I'm a better server now. I really don't have mistakes like that. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. But, yeah. And just a little tip. If you go into a restaurant, just know when you walk through those doors, anything can happen. And if a server trips and drops a drink on you, that doesn't mean that you're going to sit down after they drop the drink on you and then go order a whole bunch of food and then say you're not going to pay because they dropped the drink on you. Drinks can fall at restaurants. It just happens. Food can fall 
it just happened. So, you know, just, you know, just, just saying for civilians that don't understand that. <laughs> but guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button, guys. Let's get me to 1K by the end of the summer. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and...